Okay. Hey, Surviving the Storm. I'm gonna read your comment and I'm gonna answer you how I feel. And I, by all means, I'm not taking your comment as an attack. Um, so I'm gonna read it and then I'm gonna answer you how I feel. And my opinion and how I feel, um doesn't reflect everybody else. You know, everybody's different. But I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. Um, you say, you didn't know Diane when all of that happened. You only saw videos that other creators made about it and never got the whole story. Um, you say that I make some really valid points. Well, thank you for that. Um, should there still be a channel left for her to come back to? Um, she does have a channel to come back to. Um, she was gone for a long time. And she put her foot back in the water and she's back on the platform. Um, will I be on her channel? No, I won't. Um, I can't get over what was done and how this community was tore apart um it really broke the community people that were f very good friends became enemies um fighting with each other people were making money like bank off of talking about it it was pretty disgusting um i cannot let go the situation and the reason one reason I can't is I have a grandson who has a rare genetic disease called Lowe syndrome and I, I just can't let go what has happened in in that sense okay um and there's other creators on here that have used the R word, um, the F word. They have no compassion. They don't care, you know, that a lot of us in the community have special needs children, you know, and that we don't like that word. They don't care. It doesn't matter to them. But taking money from children matters to me. And I can't forgive that. Others have. Others have forgave and moved on and act like nothing's ever happened. I can't do that. I'm, like I said, I'm, it's just me. My opinion, I can't speak for everyone. Okay. You said, can someone take ownership, apologize, and change? Absolutely. Absolutely. They can take um, ownership, apologize, and change. But how many times are they going to apologize and say they're going to change and get right back on the platform and do the same exact thing over and over again like Natasha Cooper does? Right? Um, that's something that, can't, that I can't forgive or look past or would ever look past. I would never trust a person like her, that takes money from people, vulnerable people. She's a piece of shit. Um, so no, I, I can't, you know, I can't let that go. Can they, like, like you said, can they apologize and change and take ownership? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's up to me or the others to accept that and it's up to the person that is supposed to take ownership to stick with it and not be apologizing seven or eight times so there's my look on that um you don't agree with cancel culture and your only hope is for people to do better and i agree 100 percent However, what is forgivable and what isn't? That's up to the individual person. 
Um, like I said, I can't forgive a scammer that takes money from people and children and takes money out of vulnerable people's hands over and over and over again. I, I just can't do that. And I, I just can't. Others can look past it. I can't. Um, some people feel she apologized and others feel she didn't take full responsibility and said the minimum necessary in the situation. Well, I have to agree that she did apologize, but she didn't take full responsibility. I 100% agree on that. Um, there was chance after chance where she could have made it right in the beginning, but she, you know, people were thrown under the bus. And I don't care if she gets mad that I'm talking about this. I have a right to. I'm not bashing her or anything. I'm just laying out how I feel and trying to answer your questions. Mm, so, uh, did she apologize? Yeah. Uh, do I think it was, you know, a sincere apology? No, I don't. I, I don't feel that way. Again, that's me. Okay, um, do I have any suggestions on what channel I can visit to find out more about the situation and what transpired after it happened? You're really curious, so please don't think I'm giving you a hard time. Um, I'll look into, uh, the channels to and I'll send you the links you're not giving me a hard time um I appreciate this uh kind of comment um where you are genuinely asking questions and want to know answers and it's you trying to make the community better we can't have this on the platform um, it, like I said, it seems like one scammer goes away or dry beggar goes away. We get rid of them. We call them out. And then another one peeps their head in, you know, um, around here, it didn't used to be like that. So I greatly, greatly appreciate your comment. Uh, I will stand 100% beside you, um, for what you're doing. I appreciate what you're doing on the platform. And with that. Much love. Much respect. And if anybody else has a question. Or have any questions for me. Put them in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them. Again. Much love. And talk to y'all later.